They'll be calling you Iraq. Oh, there's so much breaking news on the Fukushima front, on the nuclear corruption. So, no rest for the weary. These fucking rats. So, get this. Now, twofold here. Fuck, and that piece of shit, Rick Perry, push in freaking new scale, new scale, new scale. Nobody, nobody will take on new scale but me. That's, I'll tell you, it's all Utah corruption. I'll break that down. I'll break that. First, I want to talk about what's going on in Oregon. What's going on. So Hatfield, now get this. We went to the Hatfield Aquarium. We've been there twice. My group. We asked, this is three years ago, we asked them. They said, what's Fukushima? I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Second time says, oh, they're testing. I says, I thought you test. So Hatfield goes out. And Oregon State, we know those pro-nuclear rats. Which is new scale, which is new scale. Baby reactors, I'll get into the corruption. Made the Washington Post today. Fuck, it's such corruption. There's only one activist fighting them. One activist fighting them here in Utah. One, me. Yo, Matt and Ashley from Hill, they haven't got a breast. You, they will though, they will. They're great. So, they go out into the ocean. They're finding these organisms about this big. They look like rubber plastic. By the millions and by the billions. They, they glow. They fucking glow. They're like, oh, we have no idea. We're mystified. We're baffled. Same old fucking hold the company fucking line. Look, let me just explain what's going on. Then they'll say, oh, it's tropic. See, no, 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 no. The Pacific Ocean has been colder for fucking almost two years now than normal. By far. By far. That's very verifiable. Fucking liars. So, no rest for the weary. I can't believe all this, and I think I can't believe I'm on. By the way, I'm recovering from open heart surgery. Fucking AML leukemia. I got some problems going on with my kidney. Fucking Jesus. Never ending. All given to me by the nuclear industry. So, what's going on in Oregon? I'll tell you, real simple. As I said, FU Fuktonium, Fukushima broke the eco change, stupid. It's the ecology, stupid. So the krill and the plankton are gone. That's why the salmon are collapsing in Oregon. Epic collapse, epic collapse. The rogue has none on it. I mean, extinction all up and down river after river after river. Not in a slow way, in an acute way. There's no krill and plankton. There's no anchovies and sardines. There's no salmon. The wells are dying. Everything, the sea lions. Let's call the comrades. So what happens, hello class, just like here. When all the healthy species are gone, lower forms move in. When one species dies off, that's called pond scum. These are fucking lower form species that are moving in, taking over where the plankton, the tide pools are empty. So back to Utah, these scumbags. Oh my God, I got me so pissed today. So get this. So New Scale, the CEO of New Scale from the Idaho National Lab, which the Post reporting it's here in Utah, no, and Idaho. No, they're based in Oregon, but they're from here. His name's Reyes, relative of the Utah State Attorney General. Oh yeah, oh hell yeah. But nobody will get into that, and I tell everybody, but no. His first cousin, that madman in the Philippines. Oh yeah. His family, their family board of directors at Chicago Bridge, and I hope Chicago Bridge has gone for thirty-five dollars to twelve right now, just in the last two months. I told you to buy the freak of puts. I told you to buy the puts. Why didn't you, Kevin? I did. The hospital took it all from me again. My bill's $150,000. Now think about this. I want you to really think about this. So, New Scale, they write about, his name's Doug Hunter. So we have a thing called AMPS in Utah. And they're acting like it's some private company. AMPS is totally paid by the Utah ratepayer. I was involved with the group that got it through. It's all for alternative energy, solar and wind, solar and wind. Now, why aren't we all solar? We get 300 sunlight days a year here. More than California ever dreamed of getting. We go solar like that. The biggest natural gas pools on the face of the earth are here. United Basin, right there. By the way, the Wattis freaking school built the reactor G. The art school I went to, the business school I taught at. I mean, fucking corruption. That's what, I mean, I can stand up to them, see what they did, look what they did to me. So AMPS is 100 taxpayer funded. They act like some private company. They've been stealing it. 
You saw my videos right there on their face under the freaking stairs in the Utah State Capitol. I'll post the video. Get into it right then. Corruption, corruption, corruption. No one cares. So Abs is being looted by New Scale. New Scale's stealing the money illegally, illegally, illegally. It's for solar and wind, just like status quo mo. So New Scale says, oh, new generation baby new actors. They're a piglet with, a with lipstick on it. So I'm the guy that exposed this. The original funding, the way it works through Idaho National Lab, you see me protest up the first nuclear, I protest up there all the time. Now get this, the original funding, they have to have X amount, like 150 million, big money, then the Department of Energy gives them a grant, which they already got the grant, they're spending all the money up front. The original funding was a Ponzi scheme, I'm the one that exposed it, look it up. It was a Ponzi scheme. The SEC went after the freak of Ponzi scheme, I think they're in prison, found them guilty this is your corruption new skill. This is this Doug Hunter screen. Oh boy, he's gonna be wish he ever fucking did this interview. I'm watching, so they're saying, oh well, we have the big the Tona field right here. It's already been tapped. It's already been fracked into bejesus. It's already been pipeline. Is the biggest natural gas find in history. It's already done. We've been using natural gas here for 50 years. We, there's no need for it. So they've been taking this money right here, little town Morgan, little town Brigham City, Kaysville, the corrupt mayor. They're giving them $200,000 a piece as consultants. Just handing it to them to buy them. There'll never be a little reactor in Kaysville, Utah. There's never going to be a little nuclear reactor in Morgan, Utah. There's never going to be a nuclear reactor in Brigham City. I mean, this is so corrupt, and it's me fighting it? Now, think about it. I stood up to these guys, University of General Electric. Stood up to them. I used to teach here. I graduated here. Number one school business in the United States. I have the last letter of recommendation, the legendary finance... Professor Clyde Cooley got mad cow and died. Taught his program for a long time. They stripped all my degrees, my PhD, my, I had the first MBA at this university. They took it away. Took away my, I mean, went crazy on me. Clyde died, was not there to protect me anymore as the anti-nuclear activist. I got, my father was human lad riding in the Nevada test site. Drafted Marine. I'm a son of a drafted, killed Marine, nuked to death in Nevada. Utah, the downwinders, downwinders, our governor, Scott Matheson died of leukemia. You know, we go on and on. Utah, the downwinder. I mean, this is of all places in the Washington Post. You know, why don't you do a background story, talk to me, and I'll set you straight on this. No, you won't touch me because I'm a real anti-nuclear activist, and this is all fucking looting. You know, the softball team. I remember when investigative journalists had balls in this country. They're fucking cowards. So, my dad drafted human lab right in the back, dies of leukemia later like they all did. Like all the downwinders in Utah did. Now their kids are getting leukemia. So I get leukemia, give them two months to live almost six years ago, post Fukushima, post Fukushima. You know, I stood right there, told you, it's gonna give you leukemia, it's gonna, I've, I've fought this tooth and nail. Then, I, Mike Lee, I kicked the freaking cows out, which they're back in there. I talked to this guy, his name's uh, Pat Sheehan. He won't even call me back. He's head of radiation. I talked to him on some polluters. How about, he won't even call me back. I sent him the emails on, be catching the cows drinking the radiated water at the Argonite. I sent him the truck going right, Energy Solutions truck, driving right through East Slayton neighborhoods. They don't care. They're derelicts, they refuse to do their job. So, Mike Lee gets me kicked off Medicaid. He sends our money back, he, and you don't believe me, look up Huntsman when he went crazy. While I'm under treatment, so I'm under treatment, I'm being treated at LDS, East State Bone Marrow Transplant for AML acute OS de nouveau, less than 1% survival. Kicks me off while I'm under treatment. I'm full of leukemia. I forked over almost a million dollars to get in. The university pulled my insurance. This is what I'm up against. So I fight, I fight, you guys watch it. And then I went into this including bleeding scenario for two years. Bleeding out of my, I don't know how I didn't bleed to death. Going crazy, popping in emergency rooms. Ogden Regional told me to go see my dentist. LDS told me I had a psoriasis. Fuck. Anyway, I collapsed on Easter. I was born on Easter. I thought I was having a stroke. Ended up in the LDS boat, or I mean, at McQuack D. They wouldn't have ever took me, but my uncle, the famous heart surgeon, Thomas Blanche, who trained all these guys, one of his protégés was in there. He's like, Kevin, Kevin. I'm like, don't fuck with me. I got money. You know, I tell him, don't. And he's like, oh, no, no, I'll get you in. So I got in to see them. They did the, the altar center. They're like, oh, whoa, your aortic valve's completely gone. I was born with it. It was a freak of birth defect. It's called a heart murmur from the nuclear industry. I'm a twin, boy, girl, twin. That's a mutation by definition. My dad died in the prime of his life. 
So they gave it to me. They gave me leukemia to the government. They gave me my bad organ valve. So emergency open heart surgery. Fucking replace my organ. I mean, brutal, brutal. Incredible fucking bleeding scenarios. I mean, I'm still in the fight. I've got some problems going, I think, in my fucking kidney now. But anyway, all given to me by the nuclear industry. They kicked me off Medicaid. Disability, never got a fucking dime. Not a fucking penny. You know how much tax I paid in? My fucking Special Forces Marine murder father of Utah. This is how they treat me. This is what they do to stand up to me. If I don't qualify for disability or fucking Medicaid, nobody on country, which I, apparently I don't. <laughs> you know, they wouldn't treat me. I mean, I've saved my life. Dr. Connors and Collado saved my life. Fuck, what a war. Stand up to these monsters. New scale is the most corrupt thing I ever seen. They're baby piglets with lipstick. There's no odds for the ways. They're looting thieves. And Perry wants to go out and grandstand them in one side of his mouth. Then he finally breaks ranks on the Fukushima. Remember the department manager when he mentioned that fucking word? <laughs> Fukushima, he says. We don't want to. He broke ranks and started talking about Fukushima. While Fukushima's killing Oregon, freaking New Scale's based on the freaking river there. Fucking right there at the Columbia. Right here, just hammering west. The fucking salmon epic collapse. You got in Oregon, you got fucking, I mean, little glowing things showing up. Hatfield's all fucking on the take by the nuclear city. We know the University of Oregon State's totally 100 fun. Kathleen Higley and gang. By the way, there's a little nuclear reactor right there in the parking lot by the football stadium. I mean, they're fucking bought and paid whores. This is the most corrupt thing. Amps was not, is not a private company. It was set up by the taxpayer. They're taking our taxes. You saw me right here in the university in the, in the Shepherd Union building go after them. They called the cops on me. Cops come and they're like, what are you talking about? You know, Kevin has freedom of speech. I never threatened anybody. They threatened me. Oh, but that's okay. They can threaten me. Do it. I caught them under the stairs in the Utah State. Why it's going in collusion. Put up the videos. No one gives a fuck. Well, I wonder why. The state of General Generals is fucking, I mean, Reyes, the Reyes connection. And I hope you shorted Chicago Bridge. It went for 35 to 12 fucking dollars. Huh. The puts I told you to buy, look it up. That's the beauty of YouTube. All proof, 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 proof. Those puts were $10. They're 1250 right now. $1,250 from 10 That's right. And I know some of you fucking bought them. I accept tips. My activism, what a fucking fight. What a war I got going on. Because it's just me. And you wonder why I'm so radical and so pissed off and say, fuck. I'm in an intense fight for my life for six years. On my own, I rely on a GoFundMe page or I'd be dead. You know, because the federal government hates my guts. They hate my father. They really hate my fucking widowed mother. Not a medal, not nothing. Go fuck you, go die, atomic veteran. That's how they treated my fucking special forces father. Now they try to make a sequel out of me. Oh, fuck you, amps. Fuck you, new scale. All you guys that are looting Utah, I'm watching. And the YouTube video is more powerful than so. Oh, it's just YouTube. It's just fire. It's just the fucking will. I don't give a fuck how many views I get. I can give a fuck about subscribers. I'm recording this in history. Fucking rats. What a scumbag. Stay in tune.